Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here. Got to take a slightly different tack today. And I'm going to showcase to you a solution or a, a reporting solution within Power BI uh, that that's I've created for uh, one of my new courses uh, inside of portal.enterprisedna.co around dashboarding and data visualization. So I'm really big on that you have to make your insights really compelling. And with this report or this report page or this report, I've, I've worked really hard on actually making the visualization pop, you know, things like colors and uh, the way it's uh, sort of segmented and structured and, um, and, and, simpl and simplified. Um, you know, we're, we, what we're looking at here is, is information on inventory management. And I've made it as simple as possible, but trying to extract the insight that we need. You know, I'm very focused on extracting insight for, you know, in a simple way for the consumer. And <clears throat> so if you want to, um, so this will be made available to everyone who is an Enterprise DNA um, TV resources customer. You'll be able to download it, but if you actually want to see, uh, watch a video on how I built this absolutely from scratch, uh, then that would require an, <clears throat> an upgrade into the dashboarding course, which is uh, being released very, very soon. Actually, probably be released by the time this video comes out. So don't, um, don't, don't hesitate to check that out at portal.enterprisedna.co. It's actually going to be within also the definitive guide to Power BI. So if you want to upgrade to that. Um, then I, I, I would recommend that because you not only get the dashboarding course, you get uh, three other current courses and another course coming by the end of the year. Okay, so let's have a look at what insight we can extract from here. And this is just this just showcases the power, you know, how amazing Power BI is, right? This is an inventory management dashboard where we're we're looking at, you know, we're comparing our inventory, which is a, basically a time stamp of data because at any one day obviously you've got you know what, what your inventory is but we're comparing it we're also incorporating our sales information and so why that is relevant as well is because well you want to actually check well how much are you selling versus what stock you currently have in place because you want to make sure that you're you're utilizing or optimizing for every single sale that could potentially be made at your stores or through your sales teams etc etc and so down in this table below, we're actually comparing, well, how much stock do we have versus the quantity that has been sold in the last 12 months? That, this is the metric that I've selected. You could change this around. You could you could make that three months if you've got much more velocity on your sales, for example. Um, but that's what I've just chosen with this because this is, a, this is an organization which you know, doesn't sell as much of, of certain goods and they take a lot, of, lot a long time to actually come, come on board. So, um, so I've gone with the long term time frame. But up here we're looking at it, we've got you know, a number of different warehouses that we stock things in so we can see you know based on the our entire business and all our warehouses well this is the this is the amount of the most amount of stock we have you know versus how much we've actually sold um, historically so this is where we could see well we've sold um, you know we could go and find well which are the ones that that we've sold a lot of but we don't actually have that much inventory so we might actually have to go and um, go and buy you know more stock to actually bring it in and so if we look down the list here we can see well um, you know, for, the, for this particular one, we've sold a lot. Um, you know, we've sold a lot of treated lumber and wood decking, but we actually don't actually have that much on stock. Um, so we could actually select this and see, okay, well, where, is this actually, where does this uh, inventory actually sit? Okay, well, it's in, it's in this particular um, this particular warehouse. This is the value of that inventory. Uh, we've also got information on our vendors, etc., uh, that we can utilize as well. But what's so cool is just the dynamic way we can drill in into any of our information here. So for example, say for instance, we're looking at this particular warehouse. Well, what is the stock we hold in that particular warehouse? Very quickly, we can see, well, obviously we've got all of this metal fabrications. You know, this is the, this is the current value of it. Uh, this is, uh, th these are the vendors which have stocked it. You know, this is where we're gonna have to go back to in terms of um, you know, vendors to get more stock in, for example. So heaps of different insights. One of the other good, one, uh, really good insights that you can extract from you know, managing your inventory within Power BI is you can actually automate the uh, the understanding of what your restocking cost is going to be. So you know, making sure that you have enough cash on, a cash available, either you know, pure cash or facilities from your bank, 
um, to go and purchase things that you need to repurchase, well, this this automated calculation enables us to say, okay, well, based on how uh, you know, reorder levels that we might have, based on all of our different products, what are, what what do we what cash do we need in the next um, you know the next week or the next month to actually restock those goods which uh, which need restocking based on our reorder levels, and so that's that's an insight that that is baked into into this model. Now. What's really interesting about this particular model is the fact is the fact that we actually have two fact tables. So we have um, dates, customers, warehouse codes, and products. But if you think about it, we've got our sales data, which is historical, and we've got our inventory stock control data, which is actually static. It's like a timestamp. It's, it's every single day. This is going to be different, and we need to we need to compare both of these tables. Uh, via all of these different lookup tables, so really interesting concept and and something that you know you've got to get your head around because in a lot of cases you're gonna have you're gonna have multiple fact tables. You're not gonna have just one sales data table every single time, and so developing a model that uh, that incorporates these in a in a intuitive and seamless way is is really really important. Okay, so a little bit of a different different tact obviously today. Um, the, the I guess all I wanted to show was what showcase was you know obviously you can make your reports look really compelling and that's you know and that and that's 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 I'm really big on that you've got to make your you, you can build the most amazing model and calculations in the world but if you don't make it look look good and compelling for the um, consumer then I, you know I personally feel that a lot of that work is wasted you know there's a number of different techniques that I've utilized visualization techniques that I've utilized in here some not really that difficult to be honest um, but um, and just unfortunately don't have time to go into them today but that's what the dashboarding course is for at portal.enterprisedna.co so if you want to you know uh, investigate that don't he- go and check it out um, go and check it out uh, on uh, you can you can access it also through the enterprisedna.co website. This will be made available uh, also under Enterprise DNA TV resources, so you can um, you can have a look at that in the link uh, in the description below. Okay, so covered a bit there, showcasing what you can achieve in Power BI. You know, you, 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 you can do this. There's no no reason why anyone can't develop. Um, everyone can't develop compelling reports like this. You know, that that showcase really good insight, actionable insight. You know, and that's ultimately. Um, where you want to get to in your Power BI development. So good luck with it. Hopefully you can you know, potentially utilize some of these um, techniques, not only analytical techniques, but visualization techniques. Um, you know, I wish you all the best in, in implementing those. Okay, until next time, speak to you soon.